Valve selection is an important part of good design and maintenance practices for industrial fluid systems. Poor system performance, increased downtime, and safety risks could result from the wrong choice. This means that making the right selection during the initial design of your system is critical. But how can you be sure you're making the right choice? A two-way ball valve, such as the SwageLock 60 series ball valve, can be a good choice for applications needing on-off functionality without flow regulation. The flexing seat design ensures a leak-tight seal in both low- and high-pressure systems. Following the stamped method, which accounts for size, temperature, application, media, pressure, end connections, and delivery, can help you make the best choice for your system. Here's how to apply this approach to selecting a Swage Lock 60 Series ball valve. First, determine the size you need, which dictates the valve's flow capacity and will correspond to your system's required flow rate. The larger your valve's orifice, the greater the potential flow capacity. 60 series ball valves are available in sizes ranging from 1 quarter to 2 inch and 6 to 25 millimeters. These valves are offered in a variety of orifice sizes and flow coefficients based on the specific end connection selected. Second, consider the temperature of your system media and your operating environment and choose component materials that are appropriately rated. SwageLock 60 series valves are standard with reinforced PTFE seats and packing with fluorocarbon FKM flange seals. Several other materials are available to meet the different temperature needs of your system. Next, think about the nuances of your application. The variety of sizes and component materials makes the SwageLock 60 series valve configurable for many industrial applications. There are also established combinations tailored for specialty applications, such as steam or chlorine service, fire or extreme temperature exposure, and rapid cycling needs. Pneumatic actuators and optional handles are also available to meet different actuation needs. Next, make sure your system media is compatible with the materials that make up your valve body, seats, and other soft components. Incompatibility can lead to corrosion or embrittlement issues, which can lead to failure. Next, think about pressure requirements. Consider both the working pressure, the normal operating pressure of your system, and the valve design pressure, the valve's maximum pressure limit. Pressure limitations are based on the lowest rated component. Be sure your 60 series valve assembly is rated properly for your operational needs. It's critically important to never exceed the design pressure of any fluid system component. Now consider end connections. Many different end connections are available, such as those shown and others. Make sure your end connections are appropriate for your system's pressure and temperature. Also make sure they're sized correctly. The right end connection can simplify installation and avoid potential leak points. Finally, ask yourself, when do I need these valves and how many do I need? Work with your local SwageLock sales and service center to acquire the parts you need as you need them. Selecting the right valve can help keep your fluid system operating safely and reliably. The stamped method can help guide you toward the right choice. For more information about valve selection, visit swagelock.com or contact your local authorized SwageLock Sales and Service Center.